In this video, we will look at the steps to run an activity report. From the activity dashboard, click the activity reports tab. Under selected, the system shows the name of the account the report will be run for. If you do not wish to include an account that is listed in this section, you can simply highlight the account and click the remove option. You can also use the remove all option to clear all the selections and reselect accounts from under level structure. After confirming the right account is selected, the next step is to select the report type. As you can see, there are two options. The events option must be selected if you wish to view alarm, schedule, or trouble events in the event history. Selecting exceptions will include not alarm events, calls to the authorities, failed scheduled events, bypasses, etc. in the event history. Next, you need to select the activity type. Select Alarm Activity to include all the activities that occurred on the account in the time frame selected. Select Test Activity to include only those events that occurred while the system was on test. Select Alarm and Test to include all the activities, regardless of the status for the time frame selected. The best practice is to always select the Alarm and Test option on all activity searches. This will ensure the data of all the test signals is captured in the history. The next step is to select the event type. Multiple options can be selected by holding down the control button while selecting the options. The next thing to do is select the date range for the report. Selecting the past 24 hours option will run the report 24 hours previous to the current time. If you wish to run a report for the past week starting today, select the past week option. You can also specify a specific period to run the report. What you need to do is to first select the Specify Range option and then select the Start Date and End Date, using the Calendar icon in each field. If you live in a different time zone, the best practice is to select the day before the start date and the day after the end date to capture the data of all the signals for the dates chosen. After selecting the date range, click Search. Note that the system may take some time to display the report, depending on the range selected and the amount of information to load. The report can be downloaded as an Excel spreadsheet. The best practice is to select the formatted download option. This will display a downloadable and printable copy of the report. That's it. That's how you run an activity report.